Today I'm going to be showing you know, just a couple of ways to, to paint trees. Uh, this has been quite a, a, a regular question for people. That they think that people find find it quite difficult to uh, to paint trees. So I'm going to start off with an easy one, and I think it's the oak tree, which is it's almost like a semicircle. I'll just do a dra drawing of it here at the top. So like a semicircle there, flat bottom, and a little um, stick at the bottom. Obviously it's not going to be as rude as that or as basic as that. But that's the, they're the fundaments of it. So I'm going to use a darker pencil just to show you that. There you go. There's your semicircle and that's it really that's that's your basic oak tree shape so what we're going to do is make it a little bit more realistic than that that's very graphic that so first of all you need to be able to establish shadows so we'll put a couple of little little jolly little edges here and we're going to come down come down the other side there with some branches we'll put on a hole in the branch in these branches here so and we're going to put a shadow at this place all the way around there and a little bit of a greenish so that could be a darker shadow that's going to be medium shadow Okay, the light is coming from this angle. See, it looks good already, doesn't it? So, here we go. We're just going to use a... That's a... It's a synthetic brush. Uh, it's a pearl that ideally to do um, trees and that lot, you should be using... Well, it's probably better to use a natural brush so I think we will we'll use a natural brush so this is a natural brush here and the reason I say that is because with a synthetic brush the bristles are quite firm and it's good but you want a bit of wobble in it yeah so you want a little bit of lack of control so we're going to start off with a little bit of green and I'm going to add a, a touch of lemon to this green because this is the lightest part see there and all I'm doing is just just putting a little bit of colour in there and as I get further on I'm just going to add a little bit more of that greeny colour it's that lime colour there you go and being mindful not to go every go over every bit of the paper so you're leaving little gaps where the light is shining through so down there and now i'm gonna add a touch of olive green to this part because it's going to be a bit darker around here and i'm adding it whilst it is wet because it'll blend into things much nicer so I'm leaving some gaps there and with just with the tip start to come down to that tree trunk don't be going over to the old school time era of putting a brown trunk there when I a tree is in shadow very rarely do you see the color brown on that trunk it's just usually it's just a darker shade of what's on top only when you get close up to it you see though those those colors so 
I mean, if you want to do anything like that, just add a touch of a bit of warm colour to it. I'm going to add a little bit of red to that area. It wasn't red straight on there, it was red with my mixture. Red, I want to be green. There we go. And how easy is that? That's number one tree. We'll close a lot. There you go. And just leave that to dry. And it should be absolutely lovely. So there you go. Number one tree. So the next tree we're going to have a go at is a sycamore tree. And whereas this is like a little semicircle, the sycamore tree has a little, got a little bit more going for it. It's a little fuller. So it goes a little bit taller around there. And it's not as, not as dense here. So let's say that the the branches are a little bit more obvious around this part. Okay, so that's like an easy way of just drawing it. Ideally, when you're practicing your trees, it's a good idea to draw, practice drawing them, practice where the shadows are going to be. The shadow here, we're going to have some shadows under there in these areas like that. So, but practice drawing them first and you will find that they become a lot easier to do. So let's, let's have a go at this there. So we, we're going to put our lovely, voluptuous tree here. There's a lot more going for it. That trunk is a little bit more obvious and we're going to have some offshoots of the trunk there, a couple of branches going into the tree. So we'll have a little area there, we'll have some areas where we're going to leave that. So there. Okay, and little areas of shadow. Okay, so we'll we'll start off with those colours again. We'll have a, a great a bit of a sap green and a little bit of lemon. And the light's going from this side again. So we are gonna with our nice loose floppy brush, see how floppy that is, look at that. And we'll just go around there. You can use the side of the brush if you want. But I like to use the tips of the brush, to be honest with you. I think that's what they're made for. But each to their own, eh? So we're going to... This is a kind of tree that you would probably need that lovely firm... Um, brush the um oh gosh I forgot what I'm saying now those uh oh what is it synthetic can't think of the word synthetic synthetic brush and we can if you can see we can get a little bit of Bring it down there, and you've got a little bit more control with that brush, you see. And we're going to go for a little bit of olive green around this area, because it's the bottom part. Now do some spindly branches and some thicker branches. Right, so that's a different shape of tree now. I think what we'll do, 
we'll let this dry before we go in with the next layer and I'm also going to do a bit more work on this tree okay so now we've let this dry first of all I'm going to pop over to this oak tree and I want to put some deeper shadows in there so I'm mix, making a mixture of more olive green it's the same colours just a, um, the, another mixture which will darken the paint that we're putting it on so create it. so you don't need to be adding blacks and things like that uh, or any kind of neutral tint or whatever try if you can using just the same color that you used before so so here we've just put a little bit of contrast it i'm going to put a little line down there so it looks like the sun has shone through there and at that part there it's a little bit lighter than this part here now this this is a point where you can add a bit of dark color just onto there just to emphasize that this part of the tree is in deep shadow so we'll go underneath there and i'm just spreading it all around so it's all olive green there and then a little bit of i've used a little bit of burnt umber um a little bit of sepia there actually and that's all you need for that so now this um sycamore tree using the same colors but i think uh, just the greens and i'm going to go just under little light bits here just to emphasize that this tree is a little bit flowery here so it's got lots of leaves and these leaves have got lots of shadows underneath them so it's not as dense so which allows the light to rest upon it and lots of different shadows to appear so now we're going to come down to these benches so but first of all i'll just do a bit of shadow at this side the trick is with trees it's just about shadows getting your shadows in and all you need is about two two layers and you can do it in one layer if you want like we did with the last one but two layers is usually a little bit nicer it's not i would just do it to the one layer if you were doing trees in the distance because you don't need so much detail with them so now we're going to just put some shadow on this side of the tree and fetch these things here and just pop through a little branch there so it's coming through the trees and a little branch there and when you do your branches it's very important to make them thicker at the bottom than they are at the top because branches don't get wider they get thinner at the top so, be mindful of that when you're painting. There we go. And that's a nice little sycamore tree. It's actually your second tree. Your third tree is going to be really simple. It's going to be a conifer tree. Well, conifer trees are basically, they're just massive chimneys aren't they so we'll start with it and they're very tall so put a line down the middle there where you want it to be and point it at the top don't go like a a great big triangle you just gotta put a little little bits and bobs there little feathery bits down there yeah and then we'll come down to the bottom and that's it really and all you got to do is add add a bit of color to it now because the uh, conifer is usually quite a dark tree so we'll we're going to start off with a bit of an olive green anyway so using the, the tip of the brush just dab in and fit and come down and then hopefully come and dab in at the edges and then you'll create these little peaks 
by doing this which will stop that painting from being too straight and too uniform we don't like uniform we like random we like nature we like things that are not controlled by humanity controlled by God instead hey, how's that there we go right so at the bottom I'm going to make it a little bit darker so I'm just putting a little bit of grey with that so just bringing this down adding a little bit of dark colour as we come down so you get a lovely gradation or gradation that we call it so it's getting see it was lighter there darker down here so you could do a whole Italian scene with these couldn't you and just on this side add a little bit of that extra colour just now and again just a couple of spots here and there There we are, that's three, three trees, three trees and nine, right, um, and I think if if you use these trees, you, you just practice looking at other trees, drawing them, you should be able to get away with a landscape with just these three different kind of trees, obviously if you're doing an Italian scene, a lovely uh, conifer tree like that um, and that you should get away with it. So I hope it's uh, helped and thank you very much for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe at the bottom please. That just helps me out. Thank you.